Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So we're gonna start our third session, mindfulness session. How do you feel with the other two exercises? I hope well. Don't forget to leave your comments, share, subscribe, help us to grow and reach more people. So we're gonna start this time. So we already kind of take some steps to bring us into this stage that we observe our thoughts and give us some directions. Okay, so in this uh, idea of giving direction to our thoughts, it's gonna be today's practice. So let's start. Remember, it can be anywhere. And I'm trying to make these exercises easy to practice anywhere. You don't really need to be in your home. You don't really need to put your candles. It can be in the park, in the, on the beach, um, at work, um, when, before you go to sleep. So you can do this any moment. Okay? So let's start. So get ready. Relax your shoulders. Make sure that your back is straight so we can breathe deeply. So close our eyes. Observe our thoughts. Listen our breath. We feel the movement of the ribs, the chest, and the tummy when we inhale and exhale. Keep your breath natural, effortless, as you were resting. We try to don't overuse our nose. We try to don't do the action of a smell. Just our natural breathing. We're going to start together our 10 breath. So take one breath to prepare. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, 10, inhale, exhale, 9, inhale, exhale, 8, inhale, exhale, 7, Inhale, exhale, six. Inhale, exhale, five. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, one. Keep your natural breathing deep and long. Observe your thoughts. And this time, we're going to be aware how we judge our thoughts, how we judge ourselves. So sometimes our mind is getting confused because we are too much aware what the others will think, what the others will say about us. Or what we are thinking about us. So be aware of those thoughts that are towards to you. Be aware how do you talk to yourself, in which tone. If when you make mistakes, you are constantly telling to you 
that you did bad, that you were a fool, that you could encounter yourself. If there is a voice that constantly is making you feel low, small, and we need to be extra care in that inner self. And start to change it for a supportive voice, a friendly voice. So if there is experience that you make a mistake that you didn't do in the best way, and instead to tell you how bad you were, keep it to you words of hope support, accept what you did wrong, but tell to yourself, I'm learning to be better, I'm having more experience to go through the situations in more harmonic or positive or understanding way. Try to tell to yourself a supportive words more when you make a mistake. And that compassion that now we're going to start to use for our thoughts, for our inner voice, we're going to do it as well for the others. So be aware when those thoughts that you are very hard criticizing or judging somebody and then repeating yourself in your mind as a mantra I understand that we are all ignorance in some point and sometimes we don't know and the most important today when those thoughts start to be very strong towards yourself or somebody, we say in our mind, I forgive you. I understand. But sometimes we don't know the way. And be very aware how do you feel after repeating this sentence? You feel lighter. But again, you're learning more and more how to understand yourself and others. We take a deep breath and we open our eyes. So this is going to be our next practice. Anytime. You don't need to close your eyes. Anytime. There are thought came into your mind. Judging you strong and negatively. Or others. Close your eyes. You can take your mudra position. Or can you, ha you can move your hands onto your chest. Which is the heart chakra. And say. I understand. That sometimes we are confused. That we are all confused in some point. That sometimes are ignorant. I forgive you. And most important, I forgive myself. This is a constantly practice we need to do. Because you will see your thoughts sometimes are really focusing what you did wrong. And yet, we make a mistake. It's a learning process. But the problem is when we constantly are pushing ourselves down with our thoughts. We need to stop, forgive us, give us another opportunity. And others, sometimes they will think that you will forgive, but you don't need to be close with them. You know, things that you don't agree or things that you don't think are good, you forgive, but you move away. Because the most important here is your well-being. So, 
I hope you like it. Thank you for coming. I'll send you a lot of good things and understanding. The most important is that understanding because sometimes we are confused, sometimes we are lost. And that confusion makes us make a little <laughs> mistakes. We can call it mistake or we can make, we can do actions delivery that we can hurt others or even ourselves. So let me know how do you feel with this next press with the next practice your next homework and i hope so that this is helpful for you let me know see you in the next video